mom said, are going to look at some mudras to help uplift our energy. We're, we're moving into spring now, and that's in Chinese medicine ruled by our liver. And it's a time of awakening and energizing and, and coming out of this sleepier state that we've had in winter that's been related to our kidneys. And so we'll look at some of those today. Uh, again, we'll be using the mudras book. But before we do our mudras, let's do a little bit of a yoga warm up, something really simple. You can stay seated in your chair. It's all going to be seated, mostly focused on upper body. So if everyone can go ahead and bring your shoulders up and then back and down, we'll just do a few circles, inhaling up, exhaling down. If you want, you can get bigger, you move your arms with this, or you can let your hands just kind of rest and flow, whatever your body is telling you it needs. And then go ahead and go the opposite direction, bringing your shoulders forward for a few rolls. And then sitting up nice and tall, looking from one side to the other, exhaling as you turn your head and inhaling as you come to the center. And then inhale to the center. And if you want, you can do a couple head rolls, being very gentle. And if you choose to dip your head back, go very gentle with it. Don't force your neck, just let gravity take its place. Inhaling back and exhaling forward. And then as you come down with your chin, Go ahead and start to go the other way. Just very light circles. And as your chin comes to center again, just go ahead and lift your chin up. Now with our hands, go ahead and interlace your fingers together and flip your palms so that they face away from you and extend this to whatever amount that you can and you feel comfortable. And breathe here, remembering to relax your shoulders. They have a tendency to kind of shrug up, so relax them down. And then if you bring your hands in, and then you can bring them up over your head, extending your palms to the ceiling. Again, no matter how tight you are, if, you're, if this is all you get to, totally fine. Just wherever you are. And if you're shoulders are really up just go ahead and relax and bend your elbows a bit and as you're here gently roll the shoulders forward it's okay if your palms start to face a little more forward than up and then roll your shoulders back a little bit and relax your hands sweep them a little bit just in front of you if you have a chair go as far back as your back will allow you if you have a little more room, open your arms up a little more. And then you can slow that down. As you're ready, go ahead and grab one arm into kind of the elbow crease of the other and gently pull, remembering to relax, relax your shoulder away from your ear. If you want, you can do a little bit of a twist with this, get some extra stretch in your shoulder. Again, just go with what feels comfortable for you. And then maybe do a couple more crosses and switch. And play around with how you feel. Maybe lower your shoulder, maybe raise it a tiny bit without shrugging it up towards your ear. See how that feels. Relax. Extend one arm in front of you. And then with your opposite hand, just lightly start to pull your fingers back towards your face. It doesn't have to be very hard, just enough so you feel a little bit of a stretch. And play with how straight your elbow feels on that forearm. 
the straighter your elbow, the more of a stretch. And then taking that same hand, go ahead and lightly, very lightly, pull your thumb towards your face a little bit. And if you want, you can even take your thumb on your top of your other thumb and grab your kind of wrist forearm with your fingers and see how that feels to lightly pull your thumb with your other thumb. And then go ahead and flip your palm, your fingers down, stretch your fingers that way. Again, playing with the bend of your elbow. This time, the be more bent your elbow is, the more of a stretch you'll feel towards your wrist. And then shake your fingers out a little bit. And we'll do the other arm. Extending your fingers up towards the sky, pulling them gently towards your face. I'm playing with that elbow, seeing how it feels. And then gently we'll stretch our thumb, either grabbing with all fingers and very lightly pulling back or using your other thumb. We often forget that our thumb needs a lot of love and stretching too. <laughs> and then when you feel ready, go ahead and flip your fingers down. Our fingers do so much for us all day. We often forget that they need stretching and love as well. And as you feel ready, just kind of shake your arms out, shake your fingers, and go ahead and shake up, shake, 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 shake everything, and then just kind of relax your arms. If you're in a chair, just kind of put them out so it won't, and then we'll shake it up one more time. Shake, 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 and then relax. Again, being mindful if you have a chair. All right, so we'll go ahead and start our mudras. If you feel you need any other last little finger stretches or warm-ups, please feel free to take those. So the first mudra we'll be doing today is the Pravati mudra, or the Earth mudra. For this one, we are going to have our feet squarely planted on the ground. You can either do this one standing or sitting, but it's really important for this one that we be grounded to the earth or as close to the earth as we can while we're inside. To do this mudra, you're going to lightly place the tip of your thumb and the tip of your middle finger together. Oh, sorry, tip of your ring finger. The picture looked a little different. Tip of your thumb and ring finger together. And then you can go ahead, and that'll be on both hands, you can go ahead and relax that on your lap or wherever you feel most comfortable. And you just want to have some very light pressure. You can do this as needed or three times a day for 15 minutes. The Pravati Mudra can eliminate an energy deficit in the root chakra, which is at our kind of lower area, in our pelvic area. It's our first chakra. This finger position also intensifies the sense of smell and is good for the nails, skin, hair, and bones. If you feel uncertain of the steps you're taking while walking, this mudra can also restore your equilibrium and trust. This mudra activates the root chakra, which is where our elemental forces resides. This mudra is like a, or the, ro the root chakra is like a rose. The potential for appearance and nature of the plant is found in its bud, that little nub. The roots sprout into the ground from this plant and give the plant stability to absorb the nutrients. The stem and leaves grow upward to connect with the light and share its beauty. This mudra also helps to stimulate the body temperature, the liver and stomach, and help us when we need self-assurance. As you're sitting with your feet parallel and your soles flat on the floor, inhale and imagine 
that you are absorbing earth energy through the soles of your feet. Guide it up through your legs, your back, your throat, into your head and far beyond the cosmos. If you can, hold your breath for a second or a few after each inhale. As you exhale, imagine like a golden rain, this energy sinks back to the earth as the renewing force. There is a balance between giving and taking. Now imagine a catch basin in your pelvic floor and let the energy rain flow into your pelvis. As you inhale, imagine you're absorbing this earth energy up all the way through you, all the way to the cosmos. Pause if you can. And then as you exhale, imagine a beautiful golden rain sinking back down to the earth as a renewing force, balancing between taking and giving and flowing into a catch basin in your pelvis. The affirmation for this mudra is the power of earth gives me secure stability, staying power and assertiveness, self-assurance and self-confidence. The power of the cosmos gives me enthusiasm, pleasure and joy. The power of earth gives me secure stability, staying power and assertiveness, self-assurance and self-confidence. The power of the cosmos gives me enthusiasm, pleasure and joy. As you inhale, 
Imagine that you are absorbing the earth's energy through the soles of your feet. Bring it up through your legs, your back, and throat into your head and far beyond into the cosmos. As you exhale, like a golden rain, the energy sinks back to the earth as a renewing force. There is a balance between taking and giving. Now imagine there's a catch basin in your pelvic floor and let the energy rain flow into your pelvis. The power of the earth gives you secure stability, staying power, and assertiveness, self-assurance, and self-confidence. The power of the cosmos gives you enthusiasm, pleasure, and joy. As you inhale, imagine that you're absorbing the earth energy through the soles of your feet, guided up through your legs, your back, your throat, into your head, and then far beyond into the cosmos. As you exhale, like a golden rain, the energy sinks back into the earth as the renewing force. There is a balance between taking and giving. Imagine that your pelvic floor is a catch basin 
and let the energy rain flow into your pelvis. Take one last inhale with this visualization and exhale when you're ready. Slowly start to flutter your eyes open and wiggle out your fingers, maybe roll your wrists a couple times and shake out our ankles, even roll those. When we bring the energy up through them, sometimes we press a little harder than we realize, so just get those moving, maybe do a couple toe raises. Whatever you need to to get yourselves comfortable again. This next mudra is a little bit better to do in the mornings, but it'll be okay after what our last mudra will be. It's the sh... sh I apologize if I butcher this. It's the shvi... Shvi... Sh 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 sorry. The energy charging mudra. Shivalinga, Shivalinga mudra. And for this mudra, you're going to place your right hand with a thumb extended upwards, and you're going to kind of cradle it in your left hand. So I'm going to come a little bit closer so you can see this. So it'll be resting with the base of your pinky resting kind of cupped lightly in your left hand. And you can go ahead and put that kind of on your ad, at your abdomen level if and your elbows are going to extend out. If this is going to be a little too tiring or if you get tired as we do this meditation, feel free to lower it into your lap. But if you can, try to start holding this mudra around where your belly button is. So the right hand in this mudra symbolizes the masculine or the yang force in Shiva's palace. It embodies the destruction and transformative aspect of the highest deity in Indian mythology. This is the symbol of new beginnings. This is the deity who makes new beginnings possible even though sometimes something has to go away. By creating the necessary preconditions, for example, a flower wouldn't wilt, there would be no fruit. It's an eternal cycle that's recognized in this, of creation, of new beginnings, but also of endings, similar to the Chinese phoenix rising from her ashes. And just as in spring, everything starts to reawaken. This mudra has the effect of the water element, which helps to nourish wood. The breath nourishes our reservoir of energy. The water element in Ayurveda has its element on the outer edge of the hand and the palm and the thumb is like an inflow of energy which we help absorb through the lungs. We can use this mudra against tiredness, dissatisfaction, listlessness, and even depression. We can also use it when we feel brain dead because of long periods of tension or strain. It helps the healing process, no matter where we feel sick or tired. This mudra is responsible for many wonders. And as you hold this mudra, imagine your left hand is a mortar and your right hand is a pestle. During your first breaths, mentally let whatever makes you feel sick fall like dark pebbles into your left hand. With the edge of your right hand in your mind, Grind everything into fi the finest dust and then imagine yourself blowing this away like fine sand. I 
Once you have ground and blown away all those things that don't serve you, remain seated and let healing energy flow into the bowl formed by your hand through your right thumb. And to yourselves, out loud or in your heads, speak the affirmation. Healing light illuminates every cell of my body, dissolves everything that should be dissolved, and builds up what must be built up again. Thank you. Healing light illuminates every cell of my body, dissolves everything that should be dissolved, and builds up what must be built up again. Thank you. Healing light illuminates every cell of my body, dissolves everything that should be dissolved, and builds up what must be built up again. Thank you. Healing light illuminates every cell of my body, dissolves everything that should be dissolved, and builds up what must be built up again. Thank you. Let the energy flowing in through your thumb fill your bowl and let light shine through all of you, dissolving what no longer serves you and knowing that from this you can rebuild and build yourself up. 
Take one last inhale and let it out either through your nose or mouth and slowly start to flutter your eyes, relax your hands. This is a shorter mudra. You can do it two times a day for four minutes or as needed, but you want to go no longer than four or five minutes with this mudra at a time. It's really powerful and really energizing. The last mudra that we have today is the Vajar Adapadama Mudra, or the gesture, gesture of unshakable trust. For this mudra, you're going to cross the fingers of both of your hands together weaving them through. You don't want it to be all the way through, just, just the fingertips kind of matching up each first knuckle as best you can. So you want to see a little bit of a gap. You can place this mudra at your chest, your abdomen, or if you feel comfortable, at your, at your legs. Up, if you can have it about your abdomen or chest, it's a little bit better, but resting it is fine. I know we we just held our hands up for a, for a little bit. <laughs> this is a mudra that's really powerful as a solid basis for healthy self-confidence. We all experience times when we think we can deal with whatever comes our way. But there's also times where we have self-doubt we feel insecure and we don't know if we can handle what happens, especially now when times are so uncertain. When we're weakened, no matter on what level, mental, physical, emotional, it's a great time for insecurity to sneak in on us. But we can use this mudra and other physical exercises and breathing to build up that inner strength, to realize we are strong and that we can do whatever we need. And there's also times where we doubt the universe. We feel disconnected and we feel alone. But we're always there. It's that cosmic consciousness. We just have to remember that it's there and we can reach out to it and connect ourselves to it. So as you sit in the beginning of this section of our meditation, formulate a question or a request that you have in clear and very precise terms. You can say this either out loud or quietly in your head to yourself. And sit and listen. Listen and give thanks for the directions that are given to you. We're in advance, say thank you. And then for the rest of the meditation, we can simply direct our meditation to our breathing. And to the affirmation I am a creation of the greatest omnipotence whose strength and power lovingly support me at all times.
I am a creation of the greatest omnipotence whose strength and power lovingly support me at all times. You are a creation of the greatest omnipotence whose strength and power lovingly support you at all times. As you inhale, imagine a great power and strength filling you. And as you exhale, let this power and strength wash over you, bathing you in a glow so that you know you can accomplish anything, anything that's set upon upon you before you, you have the strength and the power to overcome it. And take one more deep inhale. 
Exhale, let it out. Open your eyes, wiggle your fingers. And hold your palms slightly in front of you. And we're just going to pulse your first finger out a little bit. Then your middle ring, pinky. And then your pinky, your ring, middle and index. And then your thumb. And maybe wiggle a couple times. If you need to, you can clasp your fingers and roll your wrists. Holding about chest height for your elbows. Or and go ahead and just kind of twist a couple times. Maybe do a side bend. If you need to, stand up, stretch your arms. I know we've, we've been sitting for a while. So do what you need to 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 feel like you're a little bit loosey-goosey. Maybe even grab hold of your elbows and just fold forward over your chair like so. 